Hey guys. Now you got Woods Runner here and you got Dinga over here. Uh, some of you already know, but some of you don't. A couple of months ago, I lost Zip. and Anyway, he's buried out on the ranch and he just got old and diabetic and developed diabetes in his last couple of years and uh, he just got real sick towards the end and it went pretty fast. He went pretty fast. He didn't suffer a lot so anyway we're I'm teaching this guy here <laughs> his name is Dinga say hi Dinga what do you say? Say hi, Dinga. Hey, Ding. Ding, say hi. Say hi. Speak. Dinga, speak. Oh, come on. Say hi. Oh. Oh, Dinga is probably. Oh, he's just about uh, five months old now. A couple more weeks, anyway. He'll be five months old. And uh, he's learning the ropes. This is uh, quite a few hikes he's been on with me now. He's been on several hikes with me now, so it's not like it's the first time. Anyway. I'll have to edit <laughs> anyway, let's go, Ding. We got a ways to go. Back there, Ding. I'm taking a break here. You can see some of the gear I'm carrying. I've got my web on my web belt and stuff here. And uh Web gear. That's what we called it back in the military. And uh, yeah, so we're taking a break. And I'm carrying this old pack from the 80s. It's a Kedora pack. It's a decent bag. I uh, haven't used that in a while. Uh, anyway, we're going to take a break. We're going to head further into the hill here, find a likely place to sit down and uh, make some coffee. I'm not one for making feather sticks. I don't make feather sticks, but I'm no good at this crap. So, so we're doing it just to show that the knife bites really nice. And yeah, you can do feather sticks with it. It's the best wood. It's feather sticks, but it'll work. And you know, you can go lighter and do finer sticks, maybe. Knife is a 1084 high carbon steel. Not sure what the knife scales are, but they're beautiful knife scales. And uh, it's a convex grind, spear point. It's a full convex grind, so it's convex from the spine all the way down to the tip. And uh, nice and tight. It's got real tight the scales. The, the way the scales match up to the to the steel is pretty much flawless. I think he did a great job with this knife. 
so. Yeah, I can't do feather sticks, guys. Anyway, on when we go. More tests to do. Try uh, doing a little batoning with this knife. Oh. Look out there, ding. This is dangerous stuff, buddy. back here. Come on, ding. You gotta knock it off now. Nothing's gonna get you. You're okay. Ah. Well, that's a really long piece here. Let's see if we can baton this thing. Dinga, come here. Come on, Ding. Not a boy. Dinga doesn't know what to think of all this just yet. Hey, Dinga. some pretty gnarly wood. It's really old and dry. We got, don't have many hardwoods up here. Most of what we have is, uh, we have a lot of fir and spruce and pine. And, uh, we just don't have a lot of that. Those are nice woods like the maples and the ash that I sure would like to have up here. See, we can uh, break a spark into here with a piece of obsidian right here and uh, get us a fire going. I already know I have a ferro rod here and I already know it'll strike a ferro, spark off a ferro rod. So, you know. 
not the best, but anyway, we're gonna see if we can get a off a piece of obsidian off the back of this spine of this blade. We'll see if we can strike a spark and get us a fire going. Now let's see. There we go. So we're gonna, there you go, right off the bat. We're able to strike a spark and into this tinder <coughs> into my uh, char cloth here took a spark right away piece of obsidian so yeah dang Fire. There we go. Up into it. <sighs> so we batoned some wood and we did all that kind of stuff. made some half-ass <coughs> feather sticks. They're half-ass because I made them, not because of the knife. Um, yeah. Let's say you got a winner here, James. So JTD, Just Talking Dirt from Blades and Bush, Bush Lore site. Good amigo. Then uh, spent some time in the mountains camping with James, and uh, we shared some skills. And now he's making knives, and this is an early effort of his. And I'd say it's a dang good, dang good early effort. So James, thank you for that, bro. for some coffee. Pick it up. Good job. Pick it up. Dang. Give it a day. Boy, come here. Come. Here. Not a boy. Look at the camera. Say goodbye to the guys. Camera shot, I reckon. Anyway, boys, 
take her easy, but take her.